Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 best places to live in Oklahoma. Known for its great plains, rolling hills, lakes and expansive forest, the Midwestern state of Oklahoma is home to 3.9 million people. Tourists will be keen to visit the National Cowboy Museums and the Western Heritage Museum but locals prefer heading out to support the Sooners play American football at the OU Memorial Stadium in their spare time. Although the Midwest may not be the first port of call for those seeking a new home in the United States of America, Oklahoma is surely worthy of consideration. Oklahoma is far from being the most affluent state, median household income in Oklahoma is a little below the national average of $53,889. Money is no real issue here in Oklahoma, although the economy seldom experiences periods of the boom there is a steady and secure income from farming, logistics, and energy. Whenever we start looking for a new place to live, whether or not the house has bay windows or a greenhouse in the garden is futile. It's factors like proximity to good public schools and commuter routes, affordability of housing and crime rates are our real deciding factors. To make the process of narrowing down your options a little easier we have created a list of the 10 best places to live in Oklahoma, let's get started. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 best places to live in Oklahoma. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 best places to live in Oklahoma. Number 10. Goldsby. In terms of cost of living and diversity of residence Goldsby is very similar to Fort Gibson, just 163 miles away. Goldsby is very close to Oklahoma City, lying 24 miles south of the city center, but it falls within McLean County. Although rent here is just $814 on average per month, 91% of residents live in owned homes. With only 1,982 people living here, it's safe to assume that once people come accustomed to the way the community functions, they don't want to leave and buy up as soon as they can. There is rural feel to Goldsby despite it being transected by Route 35 running up to Oklahoma City. Number 9. Oklahoma City. Now is the time to quit skirting around in the suburbs and delve right into Oklahoma City. This buzzing city hub is home to 680,672 people making for a thriving and diverse group of residents. It goes without saying that nightlife here in Oklahoma City is great, with plenty of opportunities to attend trendy fitness classes and eat at startup hipster cafes too. Naturally, the closer you get to the CBD the more pricey property gets but on average a home in Oklahoma City will fetch just $138,600. For a major American city, this is fantastically affordable. Median rent too is very low at $778 meaning Oklahoma City is becoming a hotspot for millennials. Number 8. Bartlesville. The town of Bartlesville can be found south of Copen Lake and north of Tulsa City. Home to 36,360 people the only thing lacking here is access to outdoor activities. That said, should you be willing to take a drive up to Copen Lake, there are a number of pleasant hiking trails around there. Median rent here is incredibly low at just $687, again, a great place should you be a remote worker who is renting to save to get on the property ladder. Locals say that Bartlesville is growing and developing, showing a lot of promise, perhaps if we check back in a few years this small town in Oklahoma will be higher up the ranks. Number 7. Broken Arrow. There is nothing broken about Broken Arrow. Lying southeast of Tulsa this town, on paper, falls under the jurisdiction of Tulsa, being home to over 100,000 people it would be considered a large city in other parts of the world. Broken Arrow is situated just north of Leonard so if that area was appealing but the house prices were a little too dear then we're sure you'll find home value here far more agreeable. At an average of $155,600, low earners can live comfortably here. Broken Arrow is a great place to raise a family, with the excitement of Tulsa City a short drive away and 46 public schools to choose from, children here grow up happy. Number 6. Owasso. Heading back in the direction of Tulsa we find the suburb of Owasso. Home to 32,650 people, Owasso is another suburb that is consisted to be its own town by those who live there. House prices here are fantastically low at $151,200 this is $20,000 less than the national average. This is an area popular with young families for there are 46 schools in the Oasa district. 
locals are keen to meet newcomers at the gathering on Main during the autumn months so be sure to make an appearance. This close-knit community has created a really safe and secure atmosphere where crime seldom occurs. Number 5. Norman. Lying just west of the Lake Thunderbird State Park, the neighborhood of Norman is another suburb of Oklahoma City to feature in our top 10 places to live in Oklahoma. There are 117,353 people who live here so there certainly is a suburban feel to the area. Despite the large population of residents, there is a friendly vibe to the area. With there being such a diverse range of people living here there are tons of opportunities to socialize, get active and learn new skills. Median rent here is super affordable too, making Norman one of the most affordable suburbs for tenants in Oklahoma City. For $788 a month you have a wide choice of properties available to you for 44% of residents live in rented accommodation. Number 4. Stillwater. Stillwater is a small town in Oklahoma in Payne County that lies at the intersection of Route 177 and Highway 51. These routes connect residents to Tulsa and Ponca City in under an hour. Although a little far out from Oklahoma City, for some Stillwater has great value for money that would make many potential buyers forget all about its less than ideal location. Being home to 47,523 people Stillwater is a thriving town with all the amenities and facilities you could wish for, be sure to stop by Da Vinci's Italian restaurant to mingle with the locals. Home value here is around $152,100 and monthly rent is as low as $743. For tenants who can work from home, Stillwater makes for a great home base while seeking property to invest in yourself. Number 3. Bixby. Coming in a competitive third place is Bixby, another lovely suburb of Tulsa, home to 23,171 people. Local people love that this is a quiet neighborhood within easy reach of shopping centers and megastores. They say that Bixby is a quintessentially Oklahoman town filled with friendly people and lots of outdoor activities that keep everyone active and healthy. Parents will be delighted to hear that there is a range of excellent schools on offer in Bixby from high school right down to elementary level and nursery too. Compared to Jenks, Bixby's house prices are a little elevated at $192,400 on average, but in all honesty, they are very similar areas. All you have to do is find a house that feels right to you in either area. Number 2. Jenks. Jenks is super close to Tulsa's airport, known as Richard Lloyd Jones Jr. Airport, providing great options for those who have to commute across the state on occasions. Being a suburb of Tulsa there are ample job opportunities here and there is a strong community feel to the area. With 27% of residents being of school age, there are a great number of families who play their part in the community for the sake of the children creating countless opportunities to socialize and get to know one another. Jenks is a little more affluent than Edmond but house prices still average well under $200,000, so this is by no means an exclusive area. Rent here is pretty steep at $1,098, but given the high paying jobs on offer in Tulsa, this too is fairly reasonable. Number 1. Edmund. Getting a solid A rating on Niche.com is the suburb of Oklahoma City going by the name of Edmund. Home to 86,739 people, this is more of a small town than a suburb. In terms of affordability, it gets little better than Edmund, although it might do read on. House prices average at $199,600, and you get a lot of houses for your money. Take a property on Rocky Point Drive, for example, costing $144,900. Not only do you gain three bedrooms and two bathrooms, but a spacious garden and long private driveway too. Edmond is home to Oklahoma's best schooling district and with parents here earning $71,974 this is an area home to hard-working middle-class Americans creating a suitably diverse group of residents. So, which is your favorite places among the top 10 best places to live in Oklahoma? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 10 best places to live in Oklahoma in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.